forget to subscribe and turn on notification. Today we are going to discuss the uses of pandas in data science. 10 miles wrong tips you don't know. Number 1. Loading and saving data. Loading of data. Import pandas SPD from pandas import lead CSV, which is the function for leading CSV file. File name to load movie.csv. Then pass file name inside of lead CSV function. Learn your cell. Data is loaded. Saving of data. Dot two underscore csv command is used to save file or to save data. Write the name of file you want to save. After that, learn your cell. File we lead from and the file we save the two. Number two. Column insertion and deletion. Insert function will insert the name of a column at a specific location with a specific value. So, two means it will shift two places from the first column, that is the location or position of a column, styling is the name of a column, and Moses is the value of column. Learn this cell. To see the changes, learn this cell data.head. Selling column is inserted with value Moses. Deleting of column. Drop function will drop the name of a specified column. So column to be deleted is sterling. Run this cell. Now column called sterling is already deleted. Number three, data selection. We want to select a specific needed data among all from multiple data. So we'll select only two columns and only two rows. Our data set have a lot of rows with three columns. So to do selection, I've said learn your cell. It will select only two columns and two rows. Now you can see we have selected only two rows and uh, two columns. Number four, column and law renaming. Renaming of column. Function code rename can rename the name of function. This code of line will rename the column name D as January to column data. So run this cell. To see the changes, run this cell data.head. Now this column was called January. Now it is renamed as data. Here you can see it was called or it was renamed as January. Now it is called data. Renaming of row. The same function called rename can rename the name of row. This code of line will name row number one to be number or to be named as in number 56. Run this cell. To see the changes, run data.head. Now we can see row number one is named or renamed as in row number 56. Number five, low deletion. Deleting of row. Drop function will delete number of row specified. So row number 0, 1, 2 will be deleted. The axis is equal to 0 means row. Run this cell. Now you can see number of rows is starting with 3 because row number 0, 1, and 2 are being deleted. Number 6. Data sorting. In pandas, you can sort data in ascending order or descending order. Sorting data in ascending order. Function called sort underscore values. Then you pass the name of column you want to sort. Can sort function, can sort the column in ascending order. 
learn yourself. Now you can see column is sorted in ascending order from 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, and so on. Sorting in descending order. Data in the bracket column you want to sort, dot sort values. Then ascending order is equal to force means you want to sort your data in descending order. Learn your cell to sort data in descending order. So now it is 30 with greatest number to the lowest number. And so on. Number 7. Handling missing value. By using function called drop now, Pandas is able to delete all missing value. So write data dot data drop now how n it will delete all missing files specified by n a n. This will be deleted. So row number zero and row number three will be deleted because they have missing value. Learn yourself. Now, row number 0 and row number 3 are deleted because they have missing values. Number 8, handling duplicated data. If you can see, row number 1 is duplicated. It is similar with row number 3. How can you do this or how can you know it? Data dot duplicated dot sum will give the summation of all duplicated data. Run your cell. So two rows are duplicated. How can you handle it? Drop underscore duplicate will delete duplicated data while keeping the first data to appear. Then the rest will be deleted. Learn your cell. It is already deleted. Learn your cell data dot head to see the changes. As you can see now, it has remained only row number one. Row number 3, which is duplicated, have been deleted. Number 9, Data Exploration. It provides more details of a data, more characteristic of a data, and a more understanding of a data. As a data scientist, you need to have much more better understanding of a data because you are working on it. So the following function provides more details about your data set. Data.call provides the correlation of quorum. Learn this cell. Now you can see that column move ID have perfect correlation, which is correlation of one. Mean data dot mean provide the mean of all columns, but this column should be or should have numeric values. Run your cell to get the mean of column. So the mean of column, this one as shown. Data dot max, it provides the highest value in each column. Run your cell. So these are the max vary in each cell. Data dot median, it provides standard deviation of columns. Run your cell. And number 10, data visualization. Visualizing of data will help to provide you more understanding of your data. As long as you explore your data or you draw different charts, histogram, and a bar graph will give you more understanding how these values of a certain quorum have been varying according to time. So data in a bracket movie ID dot plot dot history will plot histogram for column movie ID. So learn yourself. So this is histogram of column called movie ID. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification.